In terms of health risks, for the average person in the population, it's mostly going to be upper respiratory irritation that we're going to see. It's individuals who have pre-existing um, health compromise, like individuals with fairly severe lung disease, such as COPD, uh, which includes emphysema and chronic bronchitis, these are the people that really need to take precautions to stay indoors and shelter in place as much as possible. Um, if you have to go outdoors, an appropriate respirator mask is, is recommended. So again, an N95 or a P100 mask if you have it available. If you are downwind from one of these fires, it can reach individuals who are literally hundreds of miles away. Um, many people in the Midwest and even on the East Coast have uh, begun to see sort of a haze in the atmosphere. And, and what that haze is are, are fine particles uh, that are in the air. And so when we talk about particulate matter in the atmosphere, these are things like, you, uh, they may have heard of things like PM10 or PM2.5, which are ultra fine particles. And the reason that's important is that the 2.5 micron, it's a very small size particle, bypasses your normal um, upper respiratory tract and can affect deeper into the lung and it can even get into the bloodstream in certain cases. And so, uh, again, those individuals who are particularly susceptible, um, the elderly, those with cardiopulmonary illness, even uh, uh, women who are pregnant and, and children um, need to be aware of the risks of ultrafine particles. These forest fires that we're seeing on the West Coast are unique in that more than ever before, they're burning houses and towns. It's not just the forest. And so with that, when you get destruction of houses and buildings and property, um, many of those structures are made up of um, plastics um, that we see in construction nowadays. And plastics, when they burn, are composed of what we refer to as PVC, and many people have heard that term, polyvinyl chloride, which in and of itself can affect the upper airway in terms of uh, on a cellular basis. The breakdown products of PVCs are hydrochloric acid uh, and other uh, things like phosgene, which are extremely uh, irritating to the respiratory system.